So it's a pretty nice day out today, and I figured that I would go ahead and get most of this stand built before the sun hits. It's, uh, let's see what time it is right now. Uh, it's just about 1.30. So you can see here the sun is now starting to come out. But um, this is the base for it. And as you can see here, I measured it so it would fit the entire width of the deck. These are the front boards. That's uh, it's going to be the front legs, and then I have two longer boards. It's going to be for the rear legs, and what I need to do is cut a 45 off of this. So that's what I'm planning on doing next. Shouldn't take too long. So there's not much of a breeze out there. It's uh, it's pretty toasty. It's about 80 degrees right now. So I decided that since my wife is not home, and the only reason I'm doing this inside is because she is not home, I would go ahead and uh, cut the boards in here. <clears throat> There's the first one, 45 degree angle. And so these are the front legs, essentially. This is, that's how it's, these are the front two legs. And uh, then those two boards right there are actually what the solar panels are gonna lay on. These here are the back two legs, 92 inches, pretty tall. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. I'm using a handsaw. Well, most people wouldn't, but since I live in an apartment, I don't really have any need for a circular saw. I could rent one, I could borrow one, but, you know, this saw was really good, and it only took a couple minutes to saw through this uh, 2 by 6 So, let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this uh, cut up. Okay, so I have both the... Uh, front boards cut as you can see there's the other one this is essentially this should give you a good idea uh, this would be the front here's the angle of the solar panels this is a 45 degree angle and it attaches to the base <clears throat> and a 92 inch board on the back should line up to a perfect 45 degree angle uh, but I'm gonna overcut those rears by maybe a half inch just in case I have to trim, because I would hate to, uh, or excuse me, I'm going to undercut those by about a half inch, just in case I need to do some trimming, because even though I did my measurements and I did the calculations just fine, and this is something that I've done, you know, several times, um, I just hate it when you get it out to where it's supposed to be and you find out, oh, okay, well, I guess this piece of board here was bowed a little bit too much. And I've got some some uh, uh, panels that uh, are kind of messed up out there, so I want to make sure that this thing is going to be perfect before I go ahead and put it out there. Obviously, I can't assemble the whole thing indoors because the the rear boards are actually too tall to even fit out the door. But uh, what I'm going to do is just dummy it up a little bit, put the panel on, and see how well it works. All right, so the front legs are in place perfectly in place. Now, to verify that I have the angle right or close, it doesn't have to be perfect, to verify, what I'm going to have to do is i got this board here, then I'm going to be running across, and then I'm going to check the... There is the angle. Pretty close. Close enough. That's all I'm saying. Close enough. That is a 45 degree angle. So, yeah, 45 degree angle. So I verified that the angle is correct across the boards. Even if it's off by, you know, just a little bit, who cares? I mean, this thing, first of all, I'm supposed to be setting the angle right now at this time of year at 43 degrees, but unfortunately I don't have an adjustable uh, stand. So I'm making my own and I'm kind of going around the middle. Uh, it'll get a lot more sunlight, believe me, than sitting on that weight bench. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rear. So here's the rear, uh, one of the real feet. And I'll tell you why I undercut it slightly. As you can see there, it's almost as tall as my uh, ceiling. It's uh, 92 inches. But anyway, if I can do this without this board falling over, this is actually 
the board right here. This is a 2x4. This is what's going to uh, be supporting the solar panel itself. The solar panel is going to lay on top of this. So what I'm going to do to verify everything's fine, angles and so on, okay, now look at that gap and that's fine Oops. that's fine because all I have to do and it's not going to work with uh, hard to do this camera with one hand anyway this is fine because all I have to do is lower the height slightly probably about a uh, half inch just I mean I would rather do that than to undercut it and then have to cut the front feet uh, and they're already in place so really easy all I do is take off about a half inch uh, so that should be fine. This is one of the things that, uh, you know, it looks great on paper, but uh, then when you get it and you start building it, you uh, find there's discrepancies. So not too bad, not too bad at all, really. Okay, so you can see the what this is going to look like when it's done. I also have a 2x4 uh, piece that I've got that's going to go in between here, but that I'm not too worried about. Because right now I need to line up the solar panel to make sure that it's where it should be before I start, you know, getting all this permanently uh, put together. So right now I just have one screw holding each one of these boards. This right here is my stop for the solar panel so that I can drill the holes that I need to to attach it to this board. This isn't actually going to hold the panel. Um, so this is just for my reference so that I can set the solar panel up here and be able to drill holes without it sliding off. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, that table's a mess. My son's last day was yesterday, so every paper that he's had for the whole year is out there. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting this thing attached. So this should give you a better idea of what this is going to look like when it's done. I've made enough room for another panel up there. This is the first panel, and you can see here how I've got this set up. Basically, the, uh, the mounting holes, which are under here, I'll go ahead and lift this up a little bit. You can see right under there. Perfectly measured out. I'm actually happy. I still am not going to set the pieces. First of all, I have to assemble this outside because this will not fit through the door. So I'm going to have to take it apart anyway, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and get all the holes drilled and make sure that uh, everything is squared away before I get this thing put together permanently. But yeah, this will give you a really good idea. <laughs> it actually worked out really well. Now the reason that I went horizontally instead of vertically is because if I would have put these horizontally, then it would have been one panel. I would not have been able to fit a second panel on here. So... Um, if this were on a house or something like that, then it would definitely be vertical. But it's going to be horizontal for my situation, so got to make it work. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing uh, lined up. What I'm going to be using uh, to hold the panel in place, the uh, these two inch bolts are going to go through and hook to the other side, and these washers here are going to make sure that uh, it's going to be you know, nice and strong. It's going to have a good surface area on the other side so this thing doesn't decide to just jump right off the, the uh, uh, stand. So go ahead and measure out my uh, holes and start drilling. Make sure the panel's solid and then uh, start assembling it outside. So what's going to be the easiest way to find out where on this side of the board I'm going to need to drill in order to get the hole? Well, first of all, I know first and foremost this has to be centered so right in the center I'm gonna have a line drawn and then what I'm gonna do is since I know the exact height and I know the width of this piece here I'll go straight middle draw a line here and that will be my line crossed and then I'll just pinpoint it over on this side um, because there's nothing I can't get up underneath there with a marker or anything else I don't have any chalk and so this is the easiest way I, I can um, do it because I know that the holes are perfectly apart based on, you know, I did my measurements and made sure that this was good. So uh, go ahead and start. All this. right, so you should be able to see 
what I'm talking about here. Um, this is going to come up a little higher, but uh, anyway. It is a little hazy, but full sun. And everything is complete. Everything is built. There's the panel getting direct sun, which is awesome because normally at this time of day, this rail right here would be blocking whatever the sun. You can see the shade here. So even when I had it up quite a ways, it was still getting blocked. Uh, I gotta add a couple more um, screws here. But uh, stable, tall, plenty of room for another solar panel there. And I'm generating on this 100 watt panel about five and a half amps right now. I just checked it on the ammeter. So, yeah. So that's pretty much how I did it. Um, you can see I secured the panel all four points and I put about, I don't know, I'd say about 75 pounds of force on it and it didn't even move at all. So this is plenty. You can see in there. Yeah, turned out just fine. I'm going to leave those two screws there, you never know. It's just one of those, you just never know things. Um, probably going to reinforce the front a little bit. Maybe attach some of it to the deck, I'm not really sure. But for now, it's not supposed to be windy the next couple days, it's supposed to be nice. So I've been working on this for about four hours, I think uh, I'll take a break until tomorrow, let my batteries charge up some more. But yeah, so that's how I did it utilizing basically what I had and made a stand out of it did a pretty good job I think so if you got any questions let me know I'll show you I've got my, uh, my fan plugged into my inverter right now and you can see it's holding pretty steady at about 13 volts so Pulling about 130 watts out of that fan, um, so not quite enough from the solar panel to power that fan. But that's fine. I got a battery there, so what do you do? So yeah, it's turn turning out great. If uh, anybody has any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. So this is how you install solar panels in an apartment complex without being on the roof. <laughs>